Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram that consists of uh, five uh, rectangles, yellow one, purple one, green one, blue one, and this uh, brown one. And moreover, the area of all these rectangles is uh, exactly same. And furthermore, the side length of this uh, blue rectangle uh, is uh, 6 uh, centimeter. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle. Let's assume that this uh, side length of this uh, rectangle is uh, X centimeter. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. In our case, uh, our length is x and our width is 6. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue rectangle is going to be, I'm going to represent this area by a equal to 6 uh, times uh, x. So thus the area of this uh, blue rectangle turns out to be 6 times x centimeter square. And we know that the area of all these rectangles is identical. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is going to be 6x. Area of this uh, purple rectangle is going to be 6x. Area of this uh, green rectangle is 6x. And for uh, this uh, brown rectangle is going to be 6x as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two rectangles, purple one and the green one. We can see that their area is identical. And moreover, these side lengths for these rectangles are same. Therefore, we conclude that this side length is going to be equal to this side length. In other words, this side length is same as this side length. So if these two side lengths are same, then uh, this has got to be the midpoint of this uh, whole side length. So therefore, uh, this vertical line bisects uh, this uh, yellow rectangle into two equal parts. If this whole area is uh, 6x, then half of that one is going to be 3x, and this area is going to be 3x as well. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, shaded rectangle. The combined area for this uh, big rectangle is going to be 3x plus 6x. That is going to become uh, 9x. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, another big uh, rectangle. Their combined area is going to be a 3x uh, plus uh, 6x. That is going to give us uh, 9x uh, as well. And now we know that this uh, side length uh, is uh, x centimeter. So therefore, this side length uh, has got to be x centimeter. And likewise, uh, this side length has got to be x centimeter as well. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again. Area equals to length times width. In this rectangle, our area is 9x and our length is x. So therefore, this uh, width has got to be 9 centimeter. And likewise, for this uh, next rectangle, our area is uh, 9x and our length is uh, x. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length has got to be 9 centimeter as well. So thus we can see that the side length of this uh, square A, B, C, D turns out to be 9 plus uh, 9 plus 6 centimeter. And if we add all these three numbers, that is going to give us 24 centimeter. So therefore, this side length of this square ABCD turns out to be 24. And since we are dealing with this square, so this side length, this whole one is going to be 24 centimeter as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, the side length of the square is 24 centimeter. So therefore, the area of this square ABCD is going to be equal to 24 
whole square that is going to equal to 576 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, square a b c d turns out to be 576 uh, centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye